Hey, you. Yes, you. You've got football. I said football. You've got volleyball. And of course, you've got basketball. Some would say the fairest ball of them all. But you've also got golden ball. You always have, even if you didn't know it till right now. Golden ball is the real life game where CTOs and their teams compete to deliver great software to production quickly, regularly, safely, and for massive economic advantage. And Golden Ball is huge. With an investment of $593 billion in 2023, it makes the other ball games look puny. Now there are two ways to play Golden Ball. The old way and the new way. The old way is where good ideas get approved but don't meet their deadlines or fulfill their potential. They hit all kinds of wait states and rework and maybe don't get tested enough. That's because they fall prey to the well-known reality of waiting, wasting, and wandering. Plus, the drama doesn't end when they're finally delivered to production. Will they perform as needed or will they cause big trouble? Then there's the new way to play Golden Ball. Smooth, agile, productive, and enabled by the Value Edge DevOps and VSM platform. Now ideas turn into applications, features, and capabilities that do hit their deadlines and fulfill their potential. That's because they flow smoothly through your digital value stream with no shortcuts, no waiting, and with robust testing. There's no drama when they're shot into the production cloud, on time and ready to perform, each one like a golden ball of revenue. This speed to value is what elevates Golden Ball players to Golden Ball champions, winners of the business world's most valuable game. Now Value Edge 23 has even more great capabilities to power you to Golden Ball victory. Let's learn more about Value Edge 23. Hi everybody, Golden Ball is the way to win today. And that video showed us the old way and the new way. I'm here to talk to you some more about how you can win Golden Ball the new way. My name is David Hurwitz. I'm VP of Marketing for ADM. And I'm here to introduce Value Edge 23 to you with its new capabilities for speed to value so you can win the game of Golden Ball, the most valuable game of all that any of us compete in or anybody in the world competes in. Before we talk about how you're going to win Golden Ball, Let's talk about how we got here with Value Edge. Value Edge is just a year old. It was introduced March of last year, March 22, as a VSM platform. We've had various releases through the year. We've got 100 companies using it. It's really been a, a big winner. And we've taken our learnings from those customers and from our own vision, and we're introducing today Value Edge 23, a DevOps and VSM platform. Really excited about what this does and how it can help you accelerate speed to value. That is so important because for so many organizations, it's kind of a disconnected mess what's going on in the SDLC or the digital value stream. Planning is not maybe necessarily connected to build and planning might be too heavy with old fashioned PPM and test is not as comprehensive as it needs to be. There's escape defects. Deliver, things don't always get discovered till deliver, and then you got to go back and rework into build. And meanwhile, there's waste all the way across, and so we have wait, 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 and then we're late getting the release out to production. The general manager in the upper right there isn't happy. We want to let you get away from that and get to a streamlined speed-to-value process. That is what Value Edge 23 is all about. So what does that look like? Well, with the original Value Edge, Value Edge 22, we introduced this model to you. This is your digital value stream, plan, build, test, deliver, and then you send things over into production. In a smooth flow, with good feedback between the business and development and the digital side, good support for Agile and DevOps, shown by the infinity loop in the middle, good support for the different 
groups along the way, like the PMO and the development organization, the quality organization, DevOps, and so forth. And this is great, but now we want to go to the next level. Now we want to compress the plan, build, test, deliver phase while maintaining and actually elevating our total quality so that we can accelerate the flow of value across your digital value streams. This is what we're about, and the main message of Value Edge 23 is the new capabilities for you to accelerate the flow of value across your digital value streams. So here's a model of the Value Edge platform. It's got three layers to it. You've got the insights layer up top, the acceleration modules, or the acceleration layer in the middle, and the services layer on the bottom. So I'll talk about the top and the bottom, and then I'll come to the middle. Uh, at the top, you've got the insights layer. That's where you get your dashboards of all different sorts, but especially your VSM dashboards with flow metrics. I'll talk about those more in a moment. And you can see how that tracks along with the value stream, plan, build, test, deliver. Then the bottom layer of services, things like the data lake, the integration hub, security, and so forth. The integration hub is how you're connecting to your tool chain that's out there. I'll talk about that more in a minute. And then the middle layer, the acceleration layer, the modules, you can see there's a full complement of those. You can take one, two, three, five, seven of them in whatever order you want. And I will tell you that in Value Edge 23, there's enhancements across all of this. But we're highlighting three big things on the left and a couple there sort of in the middle. I'm going to drill down into those in just a minute. But let's spend a little bit of time looking at some different aspects of Value Edge, starting with insights. What this does is makes flow metrics visible from across your digital value stream. Things like flow time, cycle time, flow rate, flow load, waste, wait time. These are essential and a new way of looking at a digital value stream so that you can maximize flow. And that data that's going to inform those analytics is going to come up from your tool chain at the bottom as well as come from the Value Edge acceleration modules. It's so essential to have total quality in order to maximize flow. Why do you need total quality? You need it because escaped defects gum up the flow. We all learned from the auto industry and the computer industry when they went through value stream management before we did in software that you can't have escape defects. You can't have flaws that go out into production. So there are new innovations in the various quality modules. I'm going to talk more about those that are going to allow you to get total quality. At the front end of the process, we're now in a largely agile world. Don't worry if you're still doing waterfall. We have customers who are doing waterfall. This works for that also, or if you're in the transition from waterfall to agile. Nonetheless, it's an agile world now, and we have heard that call and come forth with a capability for doing strategic planning designed for an agile world. I'm going to talk more about that. There's the integration hub down at the bottom. This is how you integrate with your tool chain across the DVS, Jira, uh, Jenkins, Azure DevOps, etc. how you're going to bring data in that's going to go up into uh, be visible and get analytics in Value Edge Insights. The integration hub is nicely enhanced for Value Edge 23. Great new UI for setting up those integrations. I think you're going to love it. What I want to focus on now are three major new innovations that are available to you in Value Edge 23. These are really great new capabilities. Strategic planning for an agile world, codeless quality, and real-world performance engineering. Let's start with strategic planning for an agile world. This is powered by the new Value Edge strategy plus the Value Edge mo uh, Agile module. This is strategic planning designed for agile, not the heavyweight old traditional PPM where you're doing all the task assignments and such up front and it waterfalls down through. No, doing quick Portfolio management and visualization, you can track your business KPIs and effort estimation, estimation, et cetera. And then seamlessly integrated with Agile development so that you can pass that over quickly. And then, of course, the Agile teams in Value Edge Agile are going to do the, manage their own backlogs and, and, and scrums and so forth. 
So this is a lighter weight process than, than the traditional. It's designed for the world as it is today as you are developing or as you're moving towards. So you can still do smarter investment resourcing, map demand to strategy, have visibility into your investments, et cetera, in a lightweight way that's fast and seamlessly integrated with Agile. The second great new capability is codeless quality. This is powered by Value Edge Functional Test. Codeless quality allows less technical people to codelessly create automation, codelessly create tests. And those tests maintain their resiliency even as the UI changes of the application under test and so forth. It's AI powered. That's how you have to get this done. There's machine vision going on under there and other AI powered capabilities. And there's several new as-a-service capabilities. You can do this right in a browser as a service. You can do parallel execution as a service. That's all new with the CODIS quality capabilities in Value Edge Functional Test in Value Edge 23. Now, it's real easy to use, but we recognize, especially to get the mass of your manual testers, whether they are dedicated testers or maybe they're business analysts or SMEs from over in the business or, or um, uh, other manual testers to get them up to speed. That's why we're coming out with the Codeless Quality Academy. It's going to be an LMS you're going to be able to send them to, and they'll be able to quickly get schooled up on how to codelessly create automation and keep it resilient. So Codeless Quality is available today, the functionality in Value Edge 23, which is available now, and then the Codeless Academy is going to be available on May 1st. The upshot of all this is you're going to be able to utilize your existing resources while greatly increasing productivity and coverage because your manual testers are going to become automation makers. They're not going to be as the automation they make is not going to be as sophisticated as your automation engineers. You're still going to want and need your automation engineers, as many as you can get. But what we've heard from CTOs is they can't get enough automation engineers as they would like. They're scarce, they're specialized, they're expensive. So let's augment them by these automation makers. So we'll have automation engineers up here, automation makers who are automation makers are much more productive than manual testers. Now you're greatly increasing your productivity and your coverage, greatly increasing your quality. This is going to put you on the road to total quality. The third important new capability is real-world performance engineering. This is powered by the legendary Load Runner family. I'm sure there's many Load Runner users who are watching this right now. And especially, this is powered by Value Edge Performance. Value Edge Performance itself is powered by Load Runner Cloud. Two important things about real-world performance engineering. It models the true nature of your app under load, and it infuses performance engineering into the DevOps pipeline. So the first one, real-world scenario emulation, network virtualization, intelligent anomaly detection, these are very powerful capabilities. Now, in fairness, some of these have been available to you for, for quite some time. Load Runner has been the leading product, the leading family for quite a while. They're all available to you now as part of Value Edge Performance. And infusing performance engineering into the DevOps pipeline with Load Runner Developer lets you uh, let's developers join performance engineers in the process. Really supports shift left. And there are new smart analytics that are making their debut right now with more coming out through the year that are going to give you ever more insight in Value Edge performance and Value Edge insights in order to see what's going on with your performance engineering. The upshot of real-world performance engineering is the ability to anticipate and forestall real-world problems. You want to keep your company off the front pages because it couldn't handle the load on Black Friday or, or your marketing's running some sort of a promotion or whatever. We all know the challenges of performance engineering and wanting to stay off the front pages. Load Runner's been the leader forever. It takes another giant leap right now with real world performance engineering. Plus, this is excellent shift left capability to put your QA and dev testers on the same page. We're really thrilled that analysts across the board are recognizing this. For instance, GigaOM just came out with a brand new report analyzing the performance engineering market. 
And they've got a couple great quotes there. Intelligent anomaly detection, among other AI-based capabilities, pinpoints problems in real time. And then I love that last quote on the bottom right there. Simulated network behavior is a unique game changer for achieving real user experience testing. Real user experience testing. That really inspired us. And we're putting this all together and calling it real world performance engineering. You need this in order to get total quality and in order to have confidence that you can accelerate your flow and that everything's gonna work well when it gets out in production and you're gonna win the game of Golden Ball. Well, hey, thanks for hanging in with me. Value Edge 23, couldn't be more excited about it. It has everything you need to accelerate speed to value. Plus, it is uh, incremental. You can, you can start with any piece of it you want. Those acceleration modules, you can take one, two, three, five, whatever of them in whatever order you want. It's available now. It's a DevOps and VSM platform, cloud-based, AI-powered. Got this new module, Value Edge Strategy, that, I, that we talked about that is what you need to do strategic planning for an agile world. Along with that, codeless quality and real world performance engineering. It's got what you need to become a golden ball champion and I encourage you to check it out. Thank you so much.